and I am back. I'm doing two back-to-back -back reviews. I hope you enjoyed my last review. If you haven't yet seen it, please check it out. I'll be having it come out up here, whichever way it comes. If you are new, welcome. Thank you for clicking on my video. Uh, my name is Stephanie. Warzone. I knew this was coming. And what was coming? Revolution. And today we're gonna be reviewing El Chicano. So let's go ahead and get on with my shenanigans. Okay, so El Chicano, it is rated R. It's considered a drama fantasy. It is two hours and 22 minutes long. Why wow, was two hours long? No wonder I felt like I was there forever. Um, it stars uh, David Castiano. I can't even say Mexican names, you guys. George Lopez, Raul Castillo, Emilio Rivera. So for my Sons of Anarchy fans um, who want to go see this movie because he's in there. Pre-worn, he dies within like the first 10 minutes. They have Kate Castillo on here. I'll go to the answer. It's set to release May the 3rd. It's directed by Ben Bray. I'm gonna tell you right now, we're gonna be having spoilers. So it's almost like they kind of got little parts of like different Billy Gillianti's. I hope I said that right because I can never say that word. And kind of try to put him into the Chicano movie. Um, so I got like a little bit of like different things. There's literally a fight scene, you guys, that almost really reminded me of John Wick. I mean, obviously John Wick is better. It's like they kind of were trying to mimic. I mean, they were even in a, in a club, okay? I see him more to be more Punisher. Obviously, the, oh, actually, you know what? They gave us shirt. Oh, gave it gave me Batos Locos vibes. It gave me American Me vibes, and it gave me uh, Blood In, Blood Out vibes also. Because you're three, and one is always bound to be a cop. He bounces his way, and there's, of course, one that possibly dies. There's one that was probably in jail or just is about to go to jail. But that's kind of like the formula when it comes to these type of movies. So Pedro, I mean Diego, um, is like, a, he's a twin with Pedro. First case is as a detective, there's like this big homicide. You just see dead bodies everywhere. They said that it's some sort of a professional job. So they do have this one guy who's a survivor. I don't remember his name. So he goes and he apparently that guy he's not wanting to talk, but he does end up talking to Diego and he tells him, I'm gonna show you something, then you're gonna understand. And that's why he does. he pulls up his his it was a tattoo that had a, a nickname of the brother and then it had a a, a date, which is what's a birthday. Panics, goes and looks at all the dead bodies, they all have that tat same tattoo. He's all like, Yeah, that's my brother's birthday. And mine too. Why can't you just say you're a twin, man? The girlfriend didn't even know you guys. Yes, you guys, another wardrobe change. My battery ran out yesterday and it was late. Where did I, where did I leave off yesterday? I don't know. From the movie up until that point when he first goes into that John Wick scene, there's no mention of his fighting skills. Like, you see him, you don't... I personally, I don't know about you guys once you see it. He ends up going to the bar and they he ends up fighting and like killing a bunch of people. The main person that he was actually going to get actually took off running, which was one of his childhood friends. The thing that made uh, Diego just kind of go mad and like just really see red. And I'm gonna circle back to that red thing. Because he was out on a stakeout with his partner at Shotgun's house because they were waiting for the VIP guests to come around. Bingo. And they weren't really paying much attention to what was happening in front. Well, the next thing you know, they start shooting at them and the detective gets shot in the in the neck. Um, like really starts shooting out the blood. But the way that the blood looked and the way that it was shooting out seemed very... It almost looked like a cheesy like horror movie. It's just like... Sh that. That is what that looked like, you guys. Like, no joke, that's what it looked like. Guy dies, obviously. They really did, or like, really bad, I think, on the special effects. That's we fast forward, he has to get his mom and his girlfriend, you know, away, like, protective custody. When the girlfriend is trying to say goodbye to him, she's all like, what's wrong, babe? Look in your eye. What do you see? He's all like, I'm pissed. She's like, no, no, like, I see rage. And I'm like where do you see rage because rage to me didn't really like bounce off of him he she must have been looking deep in those eyes for that rage 
luck. From the stakeout, he that's where he ends up finding out where they were gonna be at. So that's where he gets all like Billy Gillianti. Diego ends up finding a lot of things about his dead brother. Um, ends up finding this storage unit. And it had like a secret kind of like compartment. The thing that like really made me laugh that Diego, when he was mentioning this to an another character in the movie, he's all like, it was like a ghetto bat cave. Really? There was nothing ghetto bat cave from that. It was a storage unit. He's there in the storage unit, he's up finding that mask that the Chicano is the one that uses it. So he ends up taking what he finds to this like OG gangsta named Jesus because he's been around, around the neighborhood for so long so he knows everything and he pretty much tells him without telling him what the brother was into. He doesn't really know how to process all this. So once you know uh, the mom and the uh, girlfriend are basically gone he goes back to the ghetto back cave and he's just kind of looking around and he just kind of then realizes what he kind of needs to do. It's some of the, I guess the grease, the tar, I don't know, from the bicycle and puts it around his eyes. My first instinct was, oh my god, you're going to go blind. Why would you do that? It's a movie, but like, why would you do that? Like, go and like buy yourself some like black paint so you can paint around. Like, don't put this tire stuff on your face, man. Don't, don't do that at home, guys. Don't. The cartel actually ends up blowing up the police precinct, okay? And this is where I'm circling back to Red. He ends up going there, everything's blown up. So when he ends up going inside the police station to try to go find the captain, the captain's like, he, they took my guys, they took my officers, and Diego's like trying to give him help. And this is the part that like tickles me. Really, the background of the screen turns red. Like, it's just red. And then this is where I'm kind of also confused. The cartel, they have the cops, okay? Um, oh, I forgot to tell you. The reason that they have the cops is because um, Shotgun actually ends up killing El Gallo's son. So when Diego came on like John Wick on everybody, it's so funny because like Jaws, which is El Gallo's son, he gets shot, they're taking him out, and he's like, man, man, they got me, man. They got me. And I'm just like, oh dear God. I was trying to like put him inside the car in the back seat and he's literally choking. So since Joss is dead, they think that El Chicano is the one that killed them. But he, obviously it wasn't him. It was Shotgun. Which come to think about it, they never actually find out who really killed them. Of course, the guy wants his revenge. And he's all like the police is... Is protecting him right so we're gonna have to get them that's when they go and they blow up the precinct and and that's when they get the cops okay so when it's circle back I'm sorry I'm, I, I kind of get we'll get to where we need to get so after the explosion right he sees the red he ends up taking three cops when you get to where they're being held there's one already dead there's two that are are about to be killed. They like hanging there, they have a thing and everything. Shotgun comes and it's like has like the chainsaw, you know, typical like cartel move, right? Try to like saw everybody up. So while they're being like tortured, El Chicano magically appears at this warehouse. How does he know where they're at? When he got there, I'm just like how do you know where their lair is, where their hideout is, what warehouse they're at? Nobody ever said anything about, yeah, well, we have like tips that they could be over here, or, like tips that could be over there. We have a really good source. They're over here, you know, trying to get like in a hold of somebody uh, and try to figure out where they could possibly be, where we're the last at. You need to pin these numbers. Nothing. Magically appears and like starts like saving everybody, well, killing everybody and saving the girl because they ended up killing the other guy. So somewhere around there, he ends up killing a guy. Yo. Shotgun is um, fleeing, but. El Chicano like goes, gets um, they have this last like kind of fight. Shotgun ends up shooting El Chicano. Shotgun was turned back, the AK Diego. He was trying to go get the knife to finish him off. But of course, you know, you gotta play dirty. You got a knife. I mean, you got a, a gun, right? So bam, shoots him in the back. Kind of like, ah! And then Diego kind of like jumps on him. And like, uh, there's like, this picture in the back that the brother wrote, no thy enemy. So when he's killing him, he like tells them, No, thy enemy. Diego ends up like kind of on the floor because you know he's injured. He's trying to make a move and like leave, but he can't because he's not true Punisher style, you know, because Punisher would have like got up the balls and like left. So what if John Wick? When he's there, the police end up coming. He kind of like pets us out. 
when he comes to in the ambulance bulletproof vest he has his badge on he's kind of like he doesn't know what's going on you see george lopez in the ambulance on the side just kind of glaring at him kind of like this the old look it just looked funny and because he's just literally just staring him down they don't really say much you know he, he knows who he is now right fast forward just a little bit and diego and the captain are like talking and diego asks him well who was the other guy because obviously the chicano has been along has been around for so long but it's always just been like the vigilante of somebody to protect east los angeles he kind of like turns around and like just looks at him and like walks away like i don't recommend it i did not like it i actually my mind would wander a lot throughout the movie i do have short attention span but when i watch a movie i'm usually just like here at one point i was just kind of playing with my nails and i'm like wait you're watching a movie like look up at the screen kind of deal like no joke <laughs> unless this is one of those movies that you have to watch more than once some movies that i have to watch more than once to actually like like later on um, if you guys have something like that, let me know in the comment section below which one it took you more than one watch to actually now say, yeah, I really like that movie. Don't forget to uh, like this video. If you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you at Concessions. Bye.